Bicentennial fight with Mac Lee Green on January the 1st here in Philadelphia. This is going to be the greatest sporting event in the country's history. You know, I think I'm becoming nobody. It was supposed to be a fight. Without a ranked contender, what this fight is going to need is a novelty. So Apollo Creed on January 1st gives a local underdog fighter an opportunity, and I'm going to put his face on this poster with me. Billy Snow. Big Chuck Smith. No, man, I don't feel no heat from that name. This is what I'm looking for. The Italian Stallion. Look, it's the name, man. Apollo Creed meets the Italian Stallion. Earlier today, I was down at Apollo Creed's palatial gym, and as usual, he was not at a loss for words about Rocky Balboa. Look, I know a lot of people out there want to see me in a rematch with a timid fellow who calls himself the Italian Stallion. I'm ready to prove that this lucky club fighter, and that's what he was, lucky, does not have the skill to last five minutes in the ring with a superior athlete like me. The man doesn't want to face me. So I say to you, Rocky Balboa, or whatever your name is, that I want the whole world to know that I'm ready, willing, and able to meet you anywhere, any place, any time. One, two, turn it over. Snap it, come on. Dig it, dig it. All right, pick it up. Come on, pick it up. This is Roy Sanderson speaking to you from the magnificent arena here in Philadelphia. We're here for Super Fight 2 with Rocky Balboa and Apollo Creed. Light and thunder. Come on. Hurricane. Hurricane. Gonna get it. Gonna get it. Gonna get it. Gonna get it. He's ours. He's ours. I just want to say one thing. My wife was home. Yo, I did it. I did it. set for another easy victory, his eighth since he took the world championship from Apollo Creed. Yeah, Mike, but you gotta wonder about the quality of the guys he's been taking off. Sports fans are wondering how Rocky Balboa will be affected by the critical illness of his trainer, coming so late in the run-up to his title defense against the brutal challenger, Clubber Lang. I want him. He can't duck me forever. He can run, but he can't hide. I'm ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. But this ball been taking the easy matches. Fight another ball. You got your shot? Now give me mine. Shall we have a demonstration? A normal heavyweight averages 750 pounds per square inch. Whatever he hits, he destroys. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Nevada Springs Hotel, Las Vegas. Tonight's main event is the heavyweight exhibition bout between boxers from two great nations. Put your hands up there, chump. You will lose. Cannot be defeated. Rising boxing star Tommy Gunn was worked his way through the ranks under the watchful eye of retired champion Rocky Balboa has announced his defection to the camp of boxing Svengali figure George W. Duke. He says only Duke can provide him with a shot at the big money title.
That's it. You're up. Believe me when I tell you, that press is gonna hound you with that man's legend for as long as you dare to wear a boxing glove. Then you're gonna start to ask yourself, could I really take him? Got to challenge that man to fight Tommy Gunn. And if he refuses, then you gotta insult him. You gotta dog him. You gotta do whatever you got to do to get him into that ring. But that's what you got to do. But I'm challenging you to a fight. Anytime, any place, anywhere. Now you accept the challenge and you yell it. I really so I'm gonna get it. I let you know. You know that? You blew it. Hey, Rock. You blew the bell, huh? Touch me, I'll see. Come on, you play. Touch me, I'll see. Do it. Moving for what?